Verse 21. Ruth the Moabite has said, he also said to me, you shall stay close by my young men until they have finished all of my harvest. Suddenly in the verse following the explanation about who Boaz is in relation to these two widows, three most unusual things come about. The first is that it again repeats, which is actually a re-repeat, that Ruth is a Moabitess. Thus it says, Ruth the Moabitess said. She's suddenly shown again to be distinct from the people of Israel, as if the author wants us to not forget this fact. The second peculiarity is the abrupt way that she responds to Naomi's words. She's just been told that this guy is a close relative or a redeemer, but she doesn't address it directly. Instead, she adds to it with the words, gam ki amar, or simply, also to me he said. And finally, she erringly repeats the words of Boaz when she says, you shall stay close by my young men until they have finished all my harvest. Well, this is the substance of what he said, but it is not exactly as he said it. Instead, in verse 8, his words were this, you will listen, my daughter, will you not? Do not go to glean in another field, nor go from here, but stay close by my young women. Instead of Boaz's words about young women, she says, my young men. Why would the verse emphasize her foreign status once again? What was she thinking when she responded to Naomi as she did, referring back to Boaz's directive about where she should work? And why would she say the men instead of the women? And in her citing Boaz, she, the words that she uses here are emphatic. She says that Boaz said, my young men and my harvest. When he spoke to her in verse eight, the words were not emphatic like she says to them, to Naomi now. And finally, she finishes with the thought that he has told her to stay until all of the harvest is finished. This isn't recorded earlier, but it implies both the barley and the wheat harvests. His protection extends throughout the entire harvest cycle. All right. And there's one more point to make on this verse. Ruth did tell Naomi the kindness that she was shown by Boaz, but she did not tell her the glowing words of commendation that he had spoken to her. Her words indicate humility. It's a tenet opposite that of pride. In the humble, not the proud, is the favor and the grace of God revealed. Her humility has been a consistent theme of the book and she will be rewarded for it in time ahead.